Hello, Zachary Triple Seven, and I'd like to say thank you for the great response I got in my last Android video there. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions for another Android video, or even just a video off the screen in general, um, feel free to leave it below. And um, thank you. But anyway, today's video though is in on a run alternative for Windows. Now the run dialog has been around for a long time. It's pretty simple. It allow type the name of a program, folder, or document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Pretty simple. Does what you need to do, and it gives you your history if you click right here. Also gives you the option to browse by clicking the browse. But today I'm going to show you guys an awesome alternative. So it's still the run dialog, but it has more features. So if you go to the link below, you can download the run command 1.23. So it's an alternative to the Windows Run dialog. So you can download it in the portable version, um, the installer version, and then both also the portable installer for the 64-bit. So what you want to do is just go to your start and uh, right-click on computer, or just type in um, computer properties on Windows 8, and look for system type. So if you just want to try it out, I'd just do the portable one. It's a pretty small file, and you can go ahead and open it up. So if you get a security recommendation or whatever, I'm just going to go open normally. Here we go. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys the other one, and we'll compare. So, um, for example, so first of all, this one's a bit bigger, has some options obviously, so you have some hotkeys, start with windows, um, animations, to tray, exit, so some of stuff like that. Also, we also have the history option, obviously there's no history because of, I haven't used it before. We also have the hashtag run, which means we can run it in a certain mode. So this will allow us to do a administrative mode. So we have those options to run and run as administrator. Also we have the option to browse, which is pretty simple, just like the other one, just browse. But this is probably my favorite part of the whole program. We have a favorites tab, but we also have these. These are simple and fast. A lot of people go to certain things, use the, the run, um, the registry editor, CMD, um, here, and task manager. So there's a bunch of ones that people go to often. These are displayed as quick little bookmarks. So I click on that, boom, CMD. You can click on there, boom, registry editor. System properties. So it's pretty simple. You can quickly go to each one of them extremely fast, but I actually had to type them in manually. So I'll show you guys some of the options we get with this. So we have hideout, hide when running, favorite commands, hotkey, control pa panel menu, also comes up there now. So you have this option here we can do straight from the control panel. We have minimize the tray of close. So this basically it never really actually closes, it just kind of minimizes. And the highlight makes it um, a little bit hidden. So it just makes the program visible, run start or hotkey, left windows key plus R. So it hides out. And boom, it's open again. So anyways, guys, that's about it for this video, though. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you like the program, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them below as well. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you in my next one. This is the Hacker Triple 7 and I'm signing off.